not speaking, but we were hearing um, Kata. <laughs> the Sanskrit Ramayana by Valmiki. This is the uh, original Valmiki Ramayana by Sanskrit. It was written. All the sampradayas. The reason they honor Valmiki Ramayana. The Mool Ramayana, the original Ramayana. Thereafter, and he was translated in different languages. <coughs> Uh, 17 or 18 other languages in South India, Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Karnataka, and other languages. In Bangla, Bengali. In India, Tulsidas wrote Ram Charit Manas. There was uh, some difference between the two Ramayans, Tulsidas and Valmiki's Ramayana, which should be accepted. Sham Prabhu, Mike Thoda Najikra. Sham, Mike Gurudev, Mike Thoda Najikra. Volume Zada Hot Sattva. Avadi Bhasha, this language called Avadi. Avadi. In a very simple way, Grammy is called local language. Grammy, very local, like town. Village language, uh, Avad, Avad language, Ramayan, Ramayan, Tosidas, Tosidas, and uh, Valmik. How? Which one should be used as uh, evidence? <laughs> The Sanskrit language was most uh, respected and honored, honored and considered authoritative. All the pandits living in Kashi began this argument. Kashi, this Vishwanath there, Vishwanath is the uh, Shiva is there. In Kashi, they, they worship Lord Shiva. Uh, he's asking if she has been to Navadi. You have not also been to Navadi. You should go to Navadi. Who has not gone to Navadi? Raise your hand. Up 
आप जा रहे हो आप जाएंगे तब जाएंगे when he goes they will when gurudev goes then he will go also to dam vindavan and navadvip so So Kashi Vishwanath Lord Shiva will uh, ev- give evidence as which is the best Ramayan. on top the, they put the tulsi das ramayan at the bottom because this is the support of all the other all the other ramayans then they then they closed the doors and then they changed it the other way around they put tulsi das ramayan on top like the pinnacle of the temple then they put the two sidas ramayan in the middle so why you put the two sidas ramayan so where is our heart our heart is in the middle the top is head and the heart and the feet the foundation So it's known as the heart of all the Ramayan. <laughs> Some arguments they come like this. <laughs> very simple language sanskrit language is not accessible to everybody tulsidas he wrote in a very beautiful and simple way so everybody started to read the ramayan even the cowherd men it's very difficult to read sanskrit o sambhava manushya marta anitya apiya dira tuna mati matate tu Tosidas wrote in a very simple way that which is very rare to attain that is which is very rarely attained manavapa so he's saying it's that which is very rarely achieved is easily achieved the demigods they worship the lord to try and have a human body because in this human body 
we can attain the Lord very easily. Those, although the demigods' body is considered the best, but it is not so easy to attain the Lord in this, in that their body, in that demigod body, because it is the tendency to enjoy the, all this nectar, ambrosia of the heavenly planets, sense enjoyment. It's not very easy to perform bhajan uh, to the Lord in that state. Like in the Western countries, it's very difficult to practice uh, bhajan. But uh, it is easily attained by staying in the holy dham. When you have different varieties of ingredients and preparations, it, then it's very difficult to control the tongue. And then you will see at the afterwards what the results of so many tasty preparations. Very difficult to control the tongue. <coughs> When the Bhagavad Sapta is going on, you're taking ice cream, and then you become sick, not guilty. Let's see, they, well, we think, well, let's see, nothing will happen. Some tasty, spicy food, and then the stomach is spoiled, and then have trouble. Into Basti. <laughs> he was in Basti, the didn't notice. <laughs> Nadi. He was on the stage, right? On the stage, right? On the stage, right? His stomach was not back. A little diarrhea. <laughs> Where there is sense enjoyment, all the uh, uh, ingredients for enjoying yourself are there. Who will, who will have any renunciation? So the demigods are praying to the Lord, please give us a human body in this human body. And this tendency to enjoy the senses is less. <coughs> so Tulsidas is writing, very rarely I have attained with this human body. And with this human body I can easily attain to the Lord. So the demigods are praying to the Lord. Tulsidas has made it very easy for us. Uh, that which is very rare to attain. Tulsidas remains very simply written. Ranchandra appeared in the dynasty of Ikaku. 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 In the dynasty, Rolf Ranchandra. In that dynasty. Ikshaku. Ikaku. Ikaku. Yeah, it's the same. <coughs> His father's name was Dasara. Where was, where was, or how and where did Dasara Maharaj appear? Who gave him this name? Harsh? Haj. 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 A. Meaning? Yeah.
Ajah. 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 And then you remember the three generations before Lord Ramchand. Your father, your grandfather, and his gra his father. Yours, your father, your your name, your father's name, and your grandfather's name. Three you should remember. Your <laughs> So this is written in the uh, birth chart, three generations. <laughs> he did not have any children once. King, King Aj, he went to hunt in the forest. One shikar. He, there was one lake he came to. He was thirsty. The very clear crystal water. If you drop a coin, you could see it touch the bottom. Very uh, fresh water. In, uh, in the past, there were ponds. Pukur. Call it Pukur. Only not well. Talao. The lake pond <coughs> with very beautiful water. When he was drinking water, there was a lotus flower, a blue lotus. Blue Lotus. He then thought to take the lo lotus flower. Kisko <coughs> diya? Oh, he was a devotee of Lord Shiva. Ajay, the king Aj. The grandfather of uh, Ramchandra. As he tried to catch the lotus, the lotus was moving further and further into the lake. <coughs> and seeing this, disappeared. Aj became very unhappy that he could not get this one lotus flower. <coughs> Aj was became very upset in his mind. And being I am a, I'm a great king, having uh, conquered many other kings, and I could not get one lotus. He was so influential. He, Aj, king Aj was so influential. He, he could, he even uh, defeated Ravan. At that time, well, Ravan was also uh, very, very powerful. He thought to himself, I, I'm a great king, and yet I could not get this one lotus. Hmm. It's a Ravan was very strong. Once 
Okay. Rav and came, came in front of Aj, King Aj. He was performing Aarti to his Thakurji. The water from the conch shell. Then he, uh, he, and he splashed the uh, water of the conch shell should be thrown in front. But Aj was throwing it behind him in the opposite direction. Ravan, oh, Ravan challenged Aj, he said, why are you throwing the water behind you? The uh, water from the conch shell should be splashed in, uh, in front of you. What is the reason for this? Have you ever asked this question? When the pujari is, is splash water, and it should be given in front, not at the back. So that ev everyone will get the blessing it's on the head. All our inauspiciousness will be destroyed in this way. Like we come in front of Takoji, even if we have not had a bath, that, that we will purified by coming in front of the Lord and the water in the conch shell is also pure in the same way that conch shell we keep in the in the house we should have water inside all the time water should be there and then some tulsi when you when you put water on yourself that is that is back what she's saying so but for yourself it's okay but not to others behind you those in front of you you should give in front <laughs> Okay. If those people behind you that are left out, they should be in front. See, but this Aj was throwing water behind him. Ravan, he was very intelligent. Also. He's saying you are not following the rules of the Archan. He was not an ordinary person. He knew all the Vedas. It's written in Shastra that the water of Ganga should be thrown in front. But Aj was throwing it behind him. Aj then replied. I do this because one uh, lion attacked a cow. I killed the lion and saved the cow. I killed the lion and saved the cow. I just then Ravan saw that one, one lion had been killed. Ravan saw one lion had been killed. Yes. Uh, he was then Ravan became afraid of Ajay. He, 
Every time Ravan tried to attack King Aj, he was defeated. In that dynasty that Lord Ramchandra came, there were great kings in the dynasty of Lord Ram, like Dasrat Maharaj. Dasrat Maharaj had the ability to shoot an arrow uh, at an object that made some sound, he, although he could not see that object, just by hearing this, where the sound came from, he could shoot an arrow. Shamprabhu, mic thoda. I'm just going to take the mic thoda. I'm just going to take the mic thoda. वो तो समझ गए he was doing behind. Mm -hmm. Ravan 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 was a great learned person. He knew all religious principles. <clears throat> because of that association became a demon. But before, he was a Honorable person, honorable Brahman. He used to uh, chant stutis, prayers that were very high and elevated, that even Lord Shiva would begin to dance from his recitation of the stutis. Even Ravan, he wrote the books. Which one? <laughs> he was very learned. Why are you throwing water behind you? In the wrong way. Arun. He wrote a book called Arun Samhita.
He defeated Sahasra Arjun. Sahasra Arjun, with his hands, he could stop water just with his hands. He was, Sahasra Arjun was enjoying with the other damsels. And at that time, Sahasra Arjun captured Ravan. And Sahasra Arjun was also very powerful. And he tied both his hands and legs of Ravan. Anadi, come here, help. Just come here. You're not helping. Kamakam Brahman. Sham, come Yes, I'd love to help. You don't understand? No, it's very difficult to listen to the sound vibration because not speaking in the mic is the echo. It's a very soft voice. So, you know, I'm 60 years old. My hearing is not as good as yours. It's an old man. <laughs> Give me a chance. I'm trying my best. No, you're doing great. You can't finally, pick up every. Finally, why he threw water? He's not saying. Uh -huh. We could not understand anything. It's a few. <laughs> oh, क्या हुआ? ओ शेर शेर ओ गाय का जी ये आपने he heard the sound of cow uh, and because the cow is being attacked by the lion by this water, he in his mind turned the water into an arrow and shot the arrow, uh, shot, put the water behind him to kill the lion. Thank you. The Ravan so he went there and what had happened just with the water Arj could kill the kill the lion and then Ravan became afraid. story of King Aj trying to get the lotus flower. So Aj was very upset that he could not get one lotus. Okay. <laughs> Why did he not able to get the lotus? Because the lotus was moving further and further away. Then he heard an aerial voice. Because you do not have a son. That, that is why you could not get this loss. 
Then he prayed again to Mahadev, his worshipable deity, Lord Shiva. She said, Aj, uh, Shivji then uh, uh, approached Yamamar, Yamraj. Shivji could have given this benediction, but he went to Yamraj to uh, uh, offer one son to King Aj. His Yamraj said, first I will test King Aj. So the wife of Yamaraj and Yamaraj came as an ordinary Brahman and Brahmani in front of Aj. Raj, how do they come? In the form of a Brahman and Brahmani. Please give me some charity, beg charity from King Aj. Aj, uh, Aj started to give something in charity to They said, no, we want only that which you have earned with your own hard labor. So in that time, the, uh, the importance of giving charity is that you give what you have earned yourself. If you do not earn yourself, you cannot give that thing. You can only give what is yours. In Kali Yuga, you take from somebody else and you give in charity, as you like, whatever you like, you give in charity, whatever comes easily, you give that in charity. If the uh, what the husband gives in charity, the wife gives half the benefit of that. The Brahman refused the charity of King Aj. At that time, Aj, uh, Aj changed his dress and went to a iron smith, iron monger. And then he, he, he wanted to work with the iron smith. I, I don't need another employer, employee. I don't need anybody to work for me. But Aj begged to work for this iron smith. Uh, hard, hard, axe. Uh, that hammer that beats the iron. So he gave them this uh, I, uh, hammer to beat the iron. <coughs> Swarna mudra. Gold coin. So he used to, uh, he earned one gold coin. And before we used to have small coins. Then everything changed. 
Nobody gives Pesa anymore. Only in the shop. <laughs> Give one Pesa. Excellent. He earned one gold coin from the iron smith. And then, it, it, then he offered to the Brahmin. The Brahmin said, "Is only one gold coin?" And so he gave the coin in the hand of the Brahmin. What what will I get with this gold coin? One gold coin is like one pesa, equivalent of one pesa. You cannot buy anything with one pesa. He threw that gold coin away. When Kiahua? Gua. Dua. Then when the coin landed on the ground, it created some smoke. <clears throat> and very beautiful chariot manifested from amongst that smoke. And from that chariot, there was a beautiful boy appeared. And that chariot was uh, turning in ten different directions. Thus, what are the ten directions? Northeast, southwest, northeast, uh, southwest, southeast, northeast. I don't know how many ten directions. Up and down. <coughs> Upa. In these ten directions, the rath, the chariot was turning, <clears throat> and from that chariot, a beautiful boy appeared. Thus, rath. So the child was named thus rath. <clears throat> In this way, Yam Maharaj, he benedicted King Aj with a son, Dasarat Vijay. So he was able to conquer in the tenth, ten directions. And Dasarat's son was Lord Ramchandra. In Puranas and all these different uh, descriptions, and description of Lord Ramchandra. 
in the Ramayana, even if you listen to one word or read one letter, all our uh, uh, sinful reactions will be destroyed. With just that one letter of the uh, Ramayan we can destroy so many hundreds of thousands of sinful reactions. <coughs> How many parts in the Ramayana? Kanda means the section, section, chapters. Seven, seven steps. Seven steps. Uh, skanda, skanda, st seven steps. Kitna kan? Seven steps. First part, Bal Kanda. Bal means childhood pastimes. <clears throat> the nature of a child in the bhakti, in the path of bhakti, one should be as simple as a child. No hypocrisy or duplicity. To attain the Lord, we need this simplicity not duplicitous. We cannot attain the Lord by any duplicity. Mm. So we start with this first step. And the second is Ayodhya Khand. Ayodhya Khand is a, a step of renunciation to enter in the realm of bhakti. We should have renou some renunciation and get um, uh, some knowledge. Before bhakti comes, these two things by, by entering into bhakti Simultaneously, knowledge and renunciation will come. But our, our renunciations of eating and a bad association. <clears throat> when a person enters into the realm of bhakti, they automatically leave this bad association and bad habits. The third step, which one? Aran Aranyakand. Sa Aranyakand is our sadhana, our practice. Uh, Aranya. Aranya. The fourth, Kiskinda. Kiskinda can, the meaning of which is Mitra, mitra love, the friendship, relationship with devotion. Gyan comes knowledge and renunciation. And after sadhan, and then we meet with the devotees. <clears throat> and the more bhakti increases, then we have more and more association of the devotees. This is Kiskinda Khan. With the increase of our Sukriti. No, sorry. Sukriti. Sugriv. Meeting with Sugriv. Then after that, Sundarakand. Yeah, 
with this, we, Sundar means beautiful. So in this step, there is beautiful pastimes. And the next is Lanka Kand. And, and what is being shown in Lank, Lanka, Lanka Kand? Uh, uh, in Apati, good, uh, intense, uh, Apati uh, translation? Apathy, problems, disease, uh, trials and tribulations, difficulties, obstacles in this Lanka Khand. So difficulties will come. So if you try and enter into bhakti, difficulties will, obstacles will come naturally. In this Lanka Khand, and very severe austerities, or very obstacles, difficult obstacles coming come. And the next is Uttarakhand. And all auspiciousness will come. Shubha, and it's auspiciousness. Shubha, Shubha. This, uh, there's next also Love Kush. Uh, love Kush Khand, the Love and Kush. But some people do not, do not accept this as, as one of the Khand. And they stop at Uttarakhand. These pastimes of Lord Ram Chandra. See, Maharaj? Mike. The sister, there is one sister of Lord Ram Chandra. Santa. Rather, Dasrat, Dasrat's uh, friend, his name. I don't have a child. Please give me one child of your. She, he gave Santa, his daughter, in charity to this friend of his. Dandir. Mm. I don't know the name. Karam Shanta Karam. Um, King Romapad. Rompad, King Rompad, the friend of Dasarat, had no children. So he gave Santa, his daughter, to King Rompa. He married Santa to Shingi Rishi. 
very interesting how this marriage took place also. Shingirishi and Santa. He had never seen any woman before. And some people arranged his marriage with Shanta and many different uh, stories, pastimes of this. When Dasaraj had no son, uh, Sanda's husband, Sringirishi, performed the fire sacrifice for uh, uh, making Ram appear from, from that fire sacrifice. So Sringirishi performed the fire, sacri fire sacrifice. To, to from from that fire through that pastime of the sweet rice prashad being given to his different wives. Thomas Lelo Beach me are Many pastimes in the Ramayana. <coughs> <coughs> Swarga, Murtilok, and Patal. Patal. And Patal. It's been divided. Uh, these t 10, uh, 100,000 shlokas have been divided uh, into, into these three different parts. So three divided into 100,000. And, and then divided again by three, one lakh. And so this one thousand remaining, all the it's an odd, odd number divided into an even number. You will always get a remainder of a certain part. Uh, 1,000 divided by 3 will leave uh, 100. 100 divided by 3 and you, in one shloka, this remaining shloka and 32 Letters are there in one shloka. If you divide 32 by 3, then you'll have a three remain, a two remainder. These two letters are Ram. This way, Shivji, he chants Lord Ram's name. All the essence of all the Hakata is these two syllables, Ram, two letters. Do Aksha. These two syllables, two letters, the remainder of all the 
uh, essence of all the scriptures. In the Purana, it is lit, written. The, uh, Lord Shiva, he chants Ram Nam. The, the meaning of, of this is after reading, studying all the scriptures, the Vedas, the Puranas, that if we do not come to the conclusion of chanting Lord Ram's name or Krishna's name, then we have not understood the Vedas. What is the result? That we have attachment to the lotus feet of the Lord. What is the benefit, the fruits of, of studying? We've read all the Ramayana and Upanishads. If you don't have Ruchi in chanting the holy names of the Lord, then the study is of no use. It's one shloka. Have you read? Not read. There's one fruit of, of studying the Veda. One fruit is to have attachment to the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. And to have attachment for the lotus feet of the Lord. Hmm. What is the point of studying if you do not have attachment to the lotus feet of the Lord? To, yeah, to have Rati to chant the holy names of the Lord. This is the uh, uh, purpose of studying Shastras. To have Ruchi and taste in chanting the holy names of the Lord. If a person is uh, following all the rules and regulations of Vanasham Dharma, they have all good qualities. But if they do not have any taste in chanting the holy name of the Lord, then all of that is of no value. <laughs> the fruit of all our studies should be we have ruchi taste in chanting the holy names of the Lord. In Sanskrit, it is said in the shloka, Vishwakshena. Vishwakshena Bhagavan. We don't have uh, taste in chanting the Lord's name. We may be able to speak eloquently is there's the pandit is referring to the pandit in basti he was uh, very supposedly very studied they speak from the Ramayan. They and they speak Bhagavatam from the Ramayan. Yet they do not quote the shlokas of the Bhagavatam. So it is very
<laughs> He's thinking Gurudev's thinking that they make up their own shlokas. Sham is saying he was he was just speaking. He was not he he was not giving any harikata. There was no uh, uh, pastime speaking from here and there. Yeah. That's why it was very difficult to translate, understand. <laughs> and they they speak like as if they're singing. Thank you for offering me a sweet. A piece of ginger. I'm still fasting. After sunrise. So it was not so easy to preach. There were, there were two business people do one thing and do one Bhagavad Sapta. These people who are doing Bhagavad Sapta now in the different Gaudiya Mats, they used to criticize our Mat for doing Bhagavad Sapta. So Gurudev was thinking what to do if people are not coming to the mud. There were two business people. They advised Gurudev to do Bhagavad Sapta. <laughs> then we started. So Gurudev used to come in between the recitation of the Bhagavad Sapta. He used to have three or four brahmacharis. And then he performed, Gurudev performed one Bhagavad Sapta. Just reading the main shlokas. Reciting uh, all the 18,000 shlokas. <coughs> it takes a long time. <coughs> How long does it take? Every day, six hours a day, three in the morning, three in the evening, hmm? to recite the whole of Srimad Bhagavatam during three hours in the morning, three hours in the evening. There is some rule. 
then you should finish by a particular stage or uh, skanda, a particular chapter. It is it is specified. You should recite from Canto one to Canto three like this, and then second day from Canto three to Canto six, the, like this. There is some rule. I have recited the Srimad Bhagavatam for three uh, three times. <coughs> Uh, continues. कितना दिन लगते? सात दिन. तीन घंटा सुबह और तीन घंटा शाम को. सात दिन. It depends on how fast you read. And... सात घंटा. Three in the morning, four hours in the evening. You have to cover so many cantos in one day, then you can uh, finish the Srimad. And this is specified. Mm. So regardless of the number of hours, you have to finish up to a particular uh, canto. Bhagavatam. Try to read Bhagavatam. <laughs> what? What did he say? Kya bola Shaan? Shaan. Yeah, to sing in a particular tune. A particular melody. There are some shlokas of Padma Puran that is confusing to be shlokas of the Bhagavatam. There are shlokas of other Puranas. There are other shlokas that are confused with the Srimad Bhagavatam. Yeah, I should go there.